A typical day in the classroom usually starts with organizing whatever I need to do for the rest of the day. Then we go into a morning meeting, then we have a sharing time. We get a huge variety of things, whether what I did this weekend, what my parents bought me, my favorite things. And that's been really great for community building. When I think about my student teaching experience, I think what helped me most was understanding uh, the process of teaching, allowing me to make mistakes. I didn't feel we're hurting the students because I had my mentor teaching right there to sort of rescue and make things right. And at the same time, it made me realize, okay, this, you know, you can do your best planning, but then in the moment, things will go wrong, and you have to go back as a teacher, reflect. And then we have specials. Sometimes we actually get prep time. And then reading or writing. Then it's lunch time. First grade has recess duty, which is always really neat because you get to meet all of the other first graders and the kindergartners, and everybody's excited to tell you their life story. I chose to do the program because it really was more about the technique of doing it rather than the philosophy of, of teaching. I was able to, and I'm, it's still obviously a work in progress, but really understand how to do it. ¿Qué puedes empezar? Okay. Hola, mi amor. Hola, mi then we finally have science or social studies time. I was doing science with insects, so we had tons of insect things all over the classroom. We had mealworms, waxworms, crickets, butterflies, oh, and we had ladybugs. Every kid was excited to share, oh, my mealworm just turned into a peepa, oh, my mealworm just molted. There's a lot of things that I definitely learned from Amy. She has a very concrete understanding of what our students need and kind of how to work around that, especially in a Spanish immersion program. Science happens in English, but since they were also observing it throughout the day, they were quickly able to use the language in, separate, in different ways, but internalize that it meant the same thing. I'm seeing them growing and understanding it, and they're just getting excited about whatever is being introduced. And then it's finally the end of the day. We say goodbye, high five everybody as they leave, and then back to planning everything and organizing material. The most rewarding part of being a mentor is developing a relationship with a, a new teacher that's really coming into her own or his own. I think um, there's a lot of concrete things like an extra pair of hands and help with reading groups, but really I think watching the growth of the new teacher and the students together is what really brings me joy.